Hello and welcome to an edition, great edition, of Full Follow. That's right, folks, I said great edition, because the guy we have coming on the show with us tonight for his first installment of being our guest on Full Follow is Clever from... Uh, from my Thomas Cup series, Fire Cup series, and all the reads I do. So, without further ado, let's get this interview started. Up next on Full Photo. Hey, Clever, how are ya? Oh, not too bad. What about yourself, buddy? Oh, good. Are you ready for some quick questions for the next 15 minutes? Sure. All right, let's get started. So, my first question to you is, if, if you could crew chief, any driver, if you, clever, could crew chief, any driver, who would it be and why in the Cup Series? Oh, keep any driver. Crew chief, any driver. Like, come up with their car setup and hope they win. I'd have to say Denny Hamlin. And why would you have to say Denny Hamlin? Well, he's a good driver, clean driver. Okay. He's got a he's got a good personality. You know, he's a he's just outstanding guy. Yeah. Um, you don't ever really see him in many conflicts, anything like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. I asked Chuck and Walter this, so we'll see what your answer is. So, if you could meet any NBC Fox Sports broadcaster for NASCAR, who would it be and why? I'd have to say Jeff Gordon. Oh, interesting. Roger said the same thing, and can you give me an explanation tonight? On well, what? I, I grew up on watching Jeff Gordon, and he was my favorite race car driver back in the day, um, until he retired. Now Danny Hamlin, D- Danny Hamlin is. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's just an, he's in my eyes, he's an idol. Okay, in your eyes, Jeff Gordon is an idol. All right. Yes. So, next question, and so, what, if you were in NASCAR, driving this time in NASCAR, what team would you go with, and why? Uh, I'll go to the Hendricks. And, and why would you go with Hendricks? Uh, I mean, they got a great great record. Um, they've proven their team many wins. Um, they're good to their drivers, and they bend up, bend up, bend over backwards for their drivers. I mean, they they're just an outstanding team. Ah, interesting. So okay, so let's say you did sign with Pendrick, and Rick Kendrick was like, "Who do you want your cookie to be?" Now, if I know you and your driving style from playing you on Xbox and Fire Cup and Thomas Cup and whatever we, we've done together, you, you're very aggressive. So, who do you think 
fits that really aggressive style that you're looking for in your car handling. Like, you're not aggressive in a bad way, like, uh, the uh, host of this program can be sometimes. I'm not saying any names, but you probably know who I'm talking about with uh, the two of us on the program tonight. But, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. So, who do you think would fit your your personality to be on top of your pit box? Um, honestly, nerves and honest, I wouldn't mind any of them because I can get along with anybody. Um, they all have great tips. They're all great. Um, crew chiefs. So honestly, I, whoever they gave me, I would work with them. Okay. Now let's say, let's say one of the drivers got sick, um, and needed a substitute. Who would you wouldn't mind serving for right now? Or I know you said. You would work with any cookie, but like, if you had any car number, you, you had to be a Hendrick. What car number would it be and why? Mm. That's a tough one there. I mean, you know, you got me stumped on that one. <laughs> yeah? Well, I mean, I, I got different people different questions on these episodes where I had guests on, so take your time. Give me an answer. You have to give me your answer sometime before we move on. Um, if I had to pick, I'd say William Byron. And why Will and Byron? Is it just because he got cat canals on top of the pit box? I mean, you and I well, both I mean, know canals is a great... Well, I mean, it, it's, it, 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 he's an outstanding driver, I think. He's done a future ahead of him. Um, yeah, so it, it just... If he needed the points more than I did or anything like that, I would definitely... I wouldn't hesitate to jump in that car. Um, he's got a great setup, great crew chief. I mean, he's, like I said, he's got the future ahead of him. Um, so I would definitely be willing to open my arms out and help him out. Yeah. Well, okay, another quick question that nobody's been able to answer for me. If you, Clever, had to pick a spotter to be on top of that spotter stand, who would it be? Oh. No, no oh, one's shit. been able to answer this question yet. Uh, who would I want to be my spotter? Yep. Everybody, God knows you don't want it to be me. <laughs> um, I would have to say Joey Muir. Joey Muir. Absolutely. I mean, what he did for um Paul Menard, he did a great job. So. But Joey Muir, Paul Menard, spotted for his whole career. Um, I'm not 100% sure if he was for his whole career, um, but I know he was for the most majority of it. Um, yeah. But if you also look, Paul Menard was in many, many wrecks, unless it was a tragedy. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. He, he, nor- he, he, he normally got around uh, most of the, the wrecks and stuff like that. I mean, Paul Menard, Paul Menard yeah. was great. Yeah, had we I mean, been... great. Yeah, the classy be you're talking like a classy like our good friend um uh warrior, aka um 
Jamie at Texas for the viewers that don't really watch his race. He died at Texas last year. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. But, oh. no, in, in all that's well, you guys get back on the business. Um, so, tell me, so, who, who impresses you that they're already looking to be in the whole thing this year? I mean, you have, you know, Carl Edwards already hasn't been retired that long. I don't know if I agree with him already being on the ballot. Um, and you have a couple others. I can't think of who they are right at the moment, but who impresses you and what's your opinion on Carl Edwards getting and this early in his so-called retirement that he went on. Well, I mean, Carl Edwards, he, he was one of my favorite drivers. He had a great, great run. He, he accomplished a lot. Um, so, I mean, I, I would say he's right up there. I, I think he deserves it. Yeah, but my question is, he might do good with you believe NASCAR was too fast on putting him on the ballot, or do you think it's time? Um, I mean, it's been, it's been a few years. I think it's time. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to see where everybody else fought. And then, three more questions, and then we will let you go here on Full Fargo tonight. Um, so, if if you had to guess, okay, g- give me a crystal ball, all right? Uh, the crystal ball is where you see NASCAR at uh, this time in two years. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, two years is a lot of time. Um, I mean, you're gonna have new, new style cars, and stuff like that. Um, I mean, that amount of time, I, I personally think you're gonna see somebody stepping up and being like the great Kyle Busch that he is right now. I think you're gonna see somebody else, like say William Byron or Alex Bowman. Be right up there filling his shoes. Um, I mean, he's. I think it's gonna be. Kyle Busch is gonna start slowing down, and somebody else is gonna take his spot, and they're gonna push forward with it. 